Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I'm going to talk about the range tools in PE Design 11. The range tools can be found on the Home tab and you see a range copy. In order to use this tool, you need to have a design selected. I created these designs using the Shapes tool, so you can find them right here. So this would be an excellent way for you to try out the tools. You can also use other embroidery designs and letters of the alphabet. So let's get started. We'll select this little spade and we want to make a duplicate. There's a couple of different ways to make the duplicate. I can choose duplicate from the home tab. I can press the control D key. I can also right click and choose duplicate. Now that I have a duplicate copy of, of the spade, what I want to do is to select Arrange Copy and we'll choose Vertical Mirror Copy. When you choose Vertical Mirror Copy, you can create a copy to the right or to the left of the design. If you choose to overlap it, you can do that and you'll get a message saying that this design has been overlapped. Do you want to merge it? What I'll do is just go ahead and do that so you can see that. And it says Merge Overlap Shapes. And if you answer yes, what you have is a merged example of this where you don't have, it will not stitch the overlap. Okay, let's go ahead and delete that. And we're just going to move this page over a little bit to give us a little more space. And now we'll look at the next example. We'll make a, a duplicate of it. We'll put it over here on, on the screen. And now we'll go to Arrange Copy. This time we'll do Horizontal Mirror Copy. And if you notice, you can see the club above the design or below the design. And if you wanted it to be merged, you could touch those designs and you'll get the same message asking you if you want to merge those designs. So that's how easy it is to use it. Let's open up another example. And this time we're going to look at the four-way copy. Let me copy this design, choosing duplicate. I'll move it over here. And let's just give ourselves a little more space. All right, this time I'll choose arrange copy and four way mirror copy. Now, one of the things you'll notice is you have a horizontal and vertical bar. You can go right or left up or down and it will duplicate this design. It will also overlap and if you overlap that design you'll get the same merge overlapping shapes. Alright and let's look at another example. This next one has um, several options to it, and you will, I think you'll find that it's quite a bit of fun. I've selected a heart to show you an example, and I, I would also try it with an alphabetic letter and when I'm trying it out, but let's duplicate the heart again. And we'll just move it over here to the side. And then this time I'll clear the screen. Use the range copy, circle copy tool. And the first thing that you notice when you choose the circle copy tool is that you can select how you want to arrange your pattern. Vertically, you can select that you want your pattern to be up and down. And you can also select how you want it arranged horizontally. So you could have alternating shapes. We'll just select these two in the middle. 
The next thing you can consider let's, when you have selected the tool is whether or not you want to draw a perfect circle or not. If you hold down the shift key, you can make a perfect circle. And now what you can do is that you can decide whether you like the size of this circle or not. If you don't, all you need to do is right click and start again. And I have an ellipsis, that's not what I want, so I'll right click, I'll hold down my shift key. And now what I can also do is I can hold down the control key if I want and I can resize this. So we'll resize it so it's smaller. And you notice that the shapes are still attached. I can move this to the angle that I want by moving around the circle. And you notice in some instances the designs overlap. I could go over here and choose the spacing if I want and change that spacing. For instance, if I wanted these to overlap more right here, I can do that. But if you notice, I can also change the number. And a lot of times when you're doing something like this, an odd number looks better than an even number. It's really up to you. It's your design. And the last thing that I can do as I'm working this circle is I can rotate in 15 degree increments. To do that, all I need to do is to hold down the shift key and every time I move, it's rotating in a 15 degree increment. And when I've decided that I like it, I can release it and I think that's what I like, so I'll double click. Or left click, you don't really need to double click. The nice thing about this is that you can have so many different options. Let's just select a letter of the alphabet and show you a letter of the alphabet. And let's choose one that has a descender. So in this case, I'll choose the capital P and press enter and let's make it larger and we'll change this instead of a satin stitch to a fill stitch and we'll also change the font type so let's go up and choose a different font type oh, I like the serif all right, now that that's selected, I can go ahead and select the range copy tool again, and we'll do the circle copy. And this is where you can see that having an alternating pattern might be something that you like. And let's increase the spacing on it. So now I'll hold down the shift key because I wanted to have a circle. And you can see that you have dancing letters on the screen that you can arrange however you want. This would be cute to take a, a spool, like a spool of thread, a, a design, and to create something for somebody that sews. Okay, so you see how that works, and it's so very easy to use it, and a quick way to change things. Let's go out and choose Import, and we'll choose one of the designs from the design library. And let's choose this little reindeer. Okay, and let's make him a little bit larger. And because he is a design, what I just did was a no-no. What I should have done is hold down the control key because I want to retain the density of this design as I'm resizing it. 
when you're recording, it's sometimes difficult to think and do the right things at the same time, particularly when you get to a ripe O age that I am. So what I'll do is I'll keep this design and I'll go to Arrange Copy and I'll choose Circle Copy. And this time I don't want my designs up and down, uh, but I do want a specific number of designs. So I'll select seven. Now I'll go ahead and hold the shift key. And you can see that I can have these designs overlap if I want. I really don't want them overlap and I need to resize it. So to resize it, remember if you want to resize it, all you have to do to redraw this is to right click and you can redraw it again. Let's hold the shift key. Okay, that's good. And I just clicked once and now you see all the reindeer going, dancing around the circle. That would be very cute for Christmas. Okay, let's look at the last example. So let's open up the last file and that the last one is uh, is very easy to use this one we'll, what we'll do is we'll select one of these shapes actually let, let's choose a different example let me just clear the screen and let's choose this little Santa Claus because he's cute okay this is called the matrix copy. Now on, on this you'll specify how far apart you want it and then you just start dragging on the screen. If you decide that you don't like what you've done you can right click and go back up to the corner if you wanted to drag more copies. I don't want to do it over that design so let me click again and we'll just do this and now I click with my left mouse button and I have duplicate copies of that design. Now where this would be very very helpful in all honesty is if you wanted to create a shape and cut that shape as a digital copy. Let's, let's look at this. Now, I thought about this. I haven't done it or practiced it. But let's just say that I wanted to cut out a, a circular shape or maybe I'm cutting this out with paper and I want to have this flower. So let's choose that flower shape and now let's go in and let's choose the arrange copy, matrix copy. This time I'll just draw it across the page and let's say that's how many I could get on the page. Now re remember in PE design what you can do is you can specify the size of your hoop. So this hoop size could be the size of a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And now that I have this selected, I'm going to go into scan and cut and I'll choose export this as an FCM file. And look, I have cut lines. So I could make the offset spacing smaller or larger if I wanted. In this case, I don't want them touching, so I'd leave it like that. And then I can save it as an FCM file or I can send it to the canvas. I'll just save it. And we'll just leave it as that name and save it. Now when I go to my machine and by, I would copy this to my USB stick or I could turn my machine on and I can send it directly to the machine. I had the ability to do that by taking it to Canvas Workspace and sending it to the machine. So this is an example of how you can use the range tools in PE Design 11 and create something that is your own design. 
You'll see the, uh, these types of tools in other software programs. I mentioned on earlier videos I own Bernina software, and then that software is called a wreath tool. You'll also see, it, like the circle copy, called a kaleidoscope tool. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you like my videos, please subscribe and enjoy your day. Thank you.